All right. This time I'm not going to do a review per se, but instead I'm going to talk about a uh, holiday memory that I had from 2008. The main point of this vlog is going to be trying to focus on happy memories and nostalgia to help you get through these tough times. Because I, I feel like even though nostalgia can be problematic if you focus on it too much, it's important to use it as a way to get through tough parts of your life because it can really be helpful. Ergo, 2008. Um, my family and I flew in from California to Wisconsin because we were living in San Diego at the time. And we uh, got tickets courtesy of my Aunt Sandy and Uncle Paul to see a band I'm sure a lot of people have heard of, uh, Mannheim Steamroller. Now, a little history on Mannheim Steamroller is that they uh, they started off in the early 70s by composer Chip Diller. And they started doing, th th their main uh, hook is uh, taking old classic songs from, you know, centuries old, but making them more instrumental rock, pop, new wave kind of stuff. They started in the 70s by covering songs that focused on the different seasons, summer, fall, winter, etc. But in 1984 was when they really hit it big when they did their first Christmas album. We actually have the first album on CD. And that's pretty much been what Mannheim Steamroller is usually known for, is their retelling, their instrumental retellings of classic songs like Good King Once Less, Wassail Wassail, Silent Night, We Three Kings, etc. And the concert we went to was in downtown Milwaukee. I, I can't remember the name of the venue. What I remember is uh, riding in the middle of the back seat of my step grandpa's Cadillac. And my butt was killing me after sitting on that hard surface for like two hours. Not fun. <laughs> um, it, it, it was tough. Don't, sorry, I'm hearing the phone. Anyway, um, I, I just remember when we finally got to the venue, because we, we, we met um, my Aunt Sandy at the, the venue, and our seats were in probably the first section of the auditorium. We weren't super close, but we were, in like, we were closer to the stage than I would have thought we'd be. And the, the show came on, and it was basically a uh, their greatest hits and all their best-known Christmas songs. And what's unique about Mannheim Steamroller is, as I said, there's no vocals. I mean, sometimes there are, but usually it's all orchestral score. And I think it kind of gives this very spiritual kind of soulful kind of experience, something that's kind of hard to, something you don't always get with just the instrumental. It's usually with vocals, the way things are done now and the way things have usually been done. But, uh, it was a great show. A lot of the effects with the, the lighting and the imagery, it really kind of added to the experience and the magic of Christmas. And I know this year, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a little different. But I think we should still allow the magic of the holidays, whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, we should use that to kind of help us remember that Despite how bad this year has been, there's still good stuff out there. There's still good things to enjoy in the world. You know? So don't let the darkness of the world out there ruin your holiday spirit or your holiday celebrations. Just make sure you're being safe while you do that. Um... <laughs> And this video is actually a lot shorter than I thought. There wasn't really a whole lot to talk about. I, I thought I would have gone on longer, but I don't remember every single detail about the story to make it obscenely long. But I just thought it would be fun to talk about a Christmas memory that I had to try and get the aforementioned points across. Um, my guitar cover will be posted on Friday, and it'll be... Uh, well, you'll see why I posted it on Christmas Day when you see the title. I, I already recorded it last week, and uh, hopefully you guys like it. <clears throat> and and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I, it would have been much nicer if I had um, photos to show you what I was talking about, but 
my mom and I couldn't find any photos and neither can we, we, we tried looking for photos and we could never really find anything from that night, which I was surprised. But I just remember sitting there in the auditorium, talking movies with my cousin, and then the music came on and it was a pleasant night. So it's a, it's a nice memory that I'm always going to have. Good memories will never fade away. And as long as you have those memories with you, nothing will keep you down. So I'll post my cover on Friday and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone else and a Happy New Year. See you with the cover on Friday. <laughs>